What's up, guys? Welcome to the first drama of 2021. A few days ago, we talked about influencers partying on New Year's Eve, but this is the first true drama of the new year, and the spot goes to none other than Tana Mojo. So Tana and Bella Thorne have been in like a month-long feud after Bella posted a song called Stupid and apparently it's about Tana. I can't really show you guys the lyrics because YouTube, but pretty much Bella says that Tana used her for clout and all of her friends think Tana is a bitch and they'd wish Bella would just get over her, but she can't because she's a stupid Absolute lyrical genius if you ask me. Anyways, they both went back and forth on Twitter shading each other after the song was released and Bella said, When she tries so hard to be relevant, she won't stop bringing up your name for attention. Girl, can't you get your own attention? Stop. Tana then quote tweeted her saying, 749 favorites in a day and my last tweets have more and you're worried about my relevancy? At me next time and unfollow me while you add it. Tana was definitely having a blast with this whole drama because she made multiple TikToks about Bella and multiple, multiple tweets. Imagine taking the time to write, direct, and fund an entire song about me called Stupid and also being Bella Thorne. I really do be living in some people's heads rent-free man. I should go furniture shopping. Not me up at 5 a.m. absolutely still bazoinked that Bella Thorne tweeted that I wanted to be her. Even Daniel Prada replied to Tana and said, can y'all have like a phone call or something? I've tried that. Doesn't really work. Twitter seems to be her only form of communication, so I'm vibing. Tana also tweeted that she only wants clout from Jake Paul and shared a screenshot of tons of missed calls from Bella and only one from Jake where she instantly called him back. But we knew that last year when Tana faked her marriage to Jake and charged 70,000 people $50 each to watch the live stream only to get fake divorced a few months later. Now at first I will admit the feud between Tana and Bella was kind of entertaining but they both just kept dragging it on and in my opinion it started to feel like the whole thing was just set up. Why do I think that? Well, Tana posted a story time about how her ex-boyfriend Modson wrote a song about her and as soon as she posted her story time, the song went viral. Both Tana and Bella are profiting in some way off of this feud, so it started to lose people's interest. I was bored, you guys hate when I talk about Tana, so I was like, nope, I'm not gonna talk about this one. But then, Big Head, an artist that actually produced Bella's song about Tana, sat down with a No Jumper podcast and spilled all of the tea on what it was like working with Bella. Big Head says someone arranged for Bella and him to work together on a song, and at first, he was actually pretty excited about it. Bella does have a large following. She's been on TV shows and movies, so this could be a really big moment for him. He said that he went into the situation thinking that he would get something out of working with her, like maybe an Instagram tag or a shout out or something. He didn't want to go into the new business relationship telling her a set flat rate for producing her song and instead said they would figure it out after. He says that he ended up feeling like he was doing what he was doing for no reason. He implies that she didn't listen to him or take on any of his professional input and just wanted to do what she wanted to do. He said that he heard the record coming out not how he expected it to. She also didn't tag him once the song came out, meaning he got no promo so he decided to charge her a lot for the beat that he made for her. He said overall it was a really awkward vibe and she wasn't listening to what anyone had to say. I found that comment kind of funny from him because the top comment under Bella's song is, the sad thing is she has a whole ass team around her and not a single person told her how trash this is. But it just goes to show you that people actually did tell her how trash the song was, but she just didn't care. This pretty much started everything all over again. Tana shared the video to her Twitter and then went on Instagram stories to talk about it. Remember when the only flex of Bella Thorne's song about me was the fact that Big Head on the beat produced it and then he went on No Jumper to talk about how it's the worst song ever and she wouldn't let him help her? <laughs> 
Santana also tweeted, If I ever get in the studio with you, big head, I won't act like Bella Thorne and sound like a dying cat and then ask for no auto-tune and then tell you everything you're doing is wrong in the most awkward way and then not pay or promote you like she does to everyone. Surprisingly, Big Head replied to Tana and said, let's work. So I guess we'll find out if that ends up happening or if Tana just sleeps through her appointment with him. Later on, Tana tweeted, okay, I'm about to upload a video of all of us reacting to Bella Thorne's monstrosity of a music video about me. Been waiting to upload this one, but it's definitely a scandal. A few hours later, Tana posted a video titled, Bella Thorne made a horrible song about me and we reacted to it. Not gonna lie, the beginning was funny. They were like dying laughing because Bella's official music video is only in 720p, which is pretty crappy for a multi-millionaire's official music video. Tana says all of her friends have been angry with Bella for years now and they all just kind of put up with her. Tana said that she's been trying to avoid a public feud with her for years until Bella released the song. According to Tana and her friends, if they wanted to sit down and do a story time about what happened, it would be days long and probably turn into a whole reality show because that's how bad Bella treated them. Tana says Amari ended up involving himself in this situation because the night before they filmed this reaction, he actually went off on her on Twitter saying, wish you the absolute best girly Bella Thorne, but I'm not gonna sit back and watch you call my best friend a stupid <coughs> fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. One time I watched Bella Thorne's assistant cry because she screamed in her face that a grilled cheese that she made was too bad and made her make a another one. Anyways, they continue on with the reaction video and Tana says that apparently Bella hired her new girlfriend that just so happens to look exactly like Tana, play Tana in the music video. Tana also claims that Bella had been texting her all day long and kept sending her money emojis, which just goes to show you this whole thing is just about money to them. Bella is making money from people looking up her song and Tana is making money from multiple TikToks and reaction videos that have nearly a million views in 10 hours. They finally start reacting to the video and not even five seconds in, Tana notices that Bella hired a guy that Tana hired to be her love interest in her music video called FaceTime. One of the lyrics in Bella's song is, all my friends think you're a B. And Tana responds by saying Bella has no friends because she can't keep them. And Amari says, what friends? The cat? Another lyric in the song is that Tana is straining Bella's image. And Tana says that the national crime that she committed on OnlyFans workers is what's actually hurting her image just a little bit more than Tana. I do have to agree because when I think of Bella Thorne, I don't think of Tana Mojo. I think of the time that she scammed people on OnlyFans and the backlash was so bad that OnlyFans had to implement new rules which really messed with the amount of money that real creators on the platform could make. In fact, while we're talking about the OnlyFans situation, Tana actually shared a video to her Twitter of an OnlyFans worker exposing Bella for giving her and many other creators false hope. In this video, she says her and Bella work for the same management company that helps them with their OnlyFans accounts, and after Bella's scandal happened, she felt bad and wanted to give back to creators on there. Bella's mom called the management company and said that Bella wanted to promote a bunch of their creators and give back to the community after she messed up so badly. Her her mom said Bella was going to give them all shoutouts, hype them all up, and promote them online. She said Bella was also going to connect them to really powerful people in the industry from Los Angeles. Ultimately, none of this ended up happening. Not the promo, not the shoutouts, nothing. So Tana saying that Bella is affecting her own image more than she ever could have by dating her is a pretty fair statement. A lot of people aren't happy with Bella Thorne and it's for perfectly valid reasons. During the reaction video, Tana also exposed the fact that Bella took credit for doing all the illustrations in her book when she actually never drew anything in it and it was all mod sun. Overall, the reaction video was kind of petty, but at the same time, Bella's song was pretty horrible and reminded me of Rebecca Black Friday. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.